it stands for Air Reduced Friction Reducing Ship Coating. In the project, we are aiming to coat a ship hull with a layer of air. This air layer should reduce the friction of the ship, making the ship glide through water. And to realize it, we are using an inspiration from nature. We are intending to mimic the so-called Salvinia effect on a self-adhesive force system, which we then coat on the ship hull. The Salvinia effect gets its name from the water fern Salvinia, which has a special ability. On top of its surface, it possesses a number of tiny microstructures, which are covered in a specialized coating. This leads to the fact that once a Salvinia plant is submerged in water, it automatically forms a passive area. Biomimetics or bioinspiration is the transfer of biological models into technical applications by mimicking working principles of nature. The Salvini effect has many facets. Most important is the microstructure. So in the technological application we try to mimic this. We make very small structures and we make hydrophobic material. There is another thing which is in nature, we have a very thin layer of air and this very thin layer provides a very good stability against pressure fluctuations and that we call the air spring effect and we implement this in our product. The production of the air coat foil is done at KIT in our lab. We developed a process where we put a molten thermoplast on a roll and this roll takes up this molten layer and it's peeled off after it's cooled down. Then we cover it with a protection layer. And this protection layer here is, is a soft material you can see here. We produce this in a continuous way so that we can make many square meters with very small structures. The material itself has not only to be hydrophobic and moldable, it also has to be anti-fouly. So it has to be a material which is not liked by the organisms in the water. This is Gypsy Lee. This is Aquabiotech Group's research vessel and we use it for a variety of marine projects, everything around the Maltese Islands. Today marks a very special milestone for the Aircoat project. As you can see on the back, we have started applying the Aircoat foil. The boat has been prepared by applying normal primer. And today, as the first day of the official coating application, we have Danny applying the first Aircoat foil samples on the boat. On place un film air coat. C'est un film, on va dire, qui remplace un peu l'antifouling. Et ici, c'est une évolution qui va permettre de, de moins, on va dire, consommer et euh, qui va évidemment permettre une meilleure glisse sur l'eau. Sur ici, on a terminé tout le flanc. Alors après, on, va, on termine l'arrière aussi. Cet espacement et l'espacement se, se comble par le primaire et par le top coat. Et ça va en fait rendre entièrement hermétique euh, ce côté-là du bateau en tout cas. For the last three years, we have been testing different prototypes and optimizing the air coat foil until the final product that we're testing here today. We're really looking forward to Friday when we will finally be putting the first air coat foil in the water on a real vessel. Today is a big day. We finally finished removing the silicone protective layer from the air coat foil. This is actually the last strip. And we are now ready to deploy the boat. On the one hand, the passive air layer reduces the friction, which eventually would lead to less energy use and less ship emissions. On the other hand, by introducing an air layer between the water and the ship hull, we could prevent fouling as microfoulers can't get to the ship hull. 
Furthermore, this physical barrier will dampen ship noise emission as well as corrosion and release of biocides of underlying coatings. After a very busy week, the experiment is now over. We couldn't be happier. We saw 100% of air layer cover throughout the whole hull of the boat.